Beneath our feet the earth is alive with power and change. Breccia pipes, vertical columns of shattered rock, act as conduits for mineral-rich fluids, sometimes concentrating immense wealth. These pipes are not uniform, they're layered, each zone telling a chapter of a story, millions of years in the making. Picture a multi-layered cake buried upright, at the top, a tough silica cap, below, a colorful oxidized zone, deeper, a gold-enriched core. Surrounding all this is a soft clay halo, and further out, a faint manganese stain, each a clue to the system's reach. These layers result from superheated, mineral-laden water forcing its way upward, shattering rock, and sorting minerals by temperature and chemistry. Silica hardens at the top, gold settles deeper, and the system organizes itself in a predictable vertical pattern. Our task is to read these clues, rock color, mineral presence, even changes in vegetation, to map what lies below. The silica cap marks the entrance, the oxidized zone reveals history, and the halos define boundaries. By piecing these together, we can pinpoint the gold core. Breccia pipes are nature's puzzle, waiting for those who know how to read the signs. Understanding their structure is the key to unlocking their secrets. Let's begin our journey into the vertical system. A journey into the Earth's plumbing. A breccia pipe is a vertical cylindrical body of rock made of angular fragments cemented together, a chaotic column formed by violent geological forces. Unlike smooth river rocks, breccia fragments are sharp, broken in place by powerful hydrothermal activity. Superheated mineral-rich fluids surge upward, shattering rock and carrying fragments in a turbulent mass. Sometimes this process breaches the surface in a steam explosion. Other times the pipe remains hidden underground. What sets a Brescia pipe apart is its jumbled structure and its vertical intrusion through otherwise orderly country rock. The fragments, or clasts, are a mix from various depths, all cemented by a single powerful event. This unique structure is the first clue that something special lies beneath. Breccia pipes are geological anomalies, nature's vertical vaults. Section 3. Reading the surface, the silica cap and iron stains. Exploration starts with our eyes. The silica cap is the most prominent surface clue. As mineral-rich fluids rise and cool, silica cements the upper breccia, forming a hard, weather-resistant cap. Over time, softer rocks erode, leaving the silica cap as a rugged outcrop or hill, a clear geological signpost. Prospectors call these features sinter terraces or silica knobs, the first piece of the puzzle. Alongside the cap, iron stains, reds, oranges, yellows, signal oxidation of iron sulfides like pyrite. These colorful gossens indicate that sulfide minerals and possibly gold were present. Oxidation breaks down pyrite, releasing gold and staining the rock. A prominent silica cap with intense iron staining is a top exploration target. These features advertise the potential for a mineralized system below. They tell us a pipe may be present and that it had the right ingredients for gold. The search for treasure begins with these surface clues. Nature leaves a billboard for those who know how to read it. Just beneath the silica cap lies the oxidized zone, a layer of profound chemical change. Rainwater seeps down, carrying oxygen that reacts with sulfide minerals like pyrite, breaking them down. Gold, once locked in these minerals, is liberated by oxidation. The process creates iron oxides that stain the rock and sulfuric acid that further alters minerals. Freed gold particles, dense and heavy, begin to concentrate as lighter materials wash away. This natural enrichment gathers dispersed gold into a smaller, richer zone. The oxidized zone is both destructive and creative. It destroys sulfides but creates high-grade gold deposits. Prospectors look for porous, iron-stained rock and, if lucky, visible gold flakes. This layer confirms the system's presence and its critical enrichment phase. The oxidized zone is a key chapter in the story of gold formation. It's where transformation and concentration meet. Here, the real value of the breccia pipe begins to emerge. Below the oxidized zone lies the heart of the system, the gold-enriched core. Here, conditions were perfect for gold to accumulate in significant quantities. As gold particles trickled down, they reached a barrier, often the water table, where chemistry changed and gold settled. This redox front acts as a wall, causing metals to precipitate and gold to concentrate in a compact, high-grade layer. Over millions of years this process transforms a low-grade occurrence into a world-class ore body. The gold here is often free and easy to recover, making it economically vital. 
Surface clues point to the pipe. The oxidized zone confirms gold liberation. Careful interpretation predicts where the core lies. Drilling confirms it. The gold-enriched core is the ultimate prize, the culmination of nature's sorting. It's the moment when the story told by rocks is proven true by discovery. The gold core is the prize, but the breccia pipe's influence extends further. Surrounding the pipe is a clay halo formed as hot, acidic fluids alter the country rock, turning minerals into soft clays. This argillic alteration creates a pale, clay-rich shell, often visible as softer ground or changes in vegetation. Further out, a manganese halo appears, black stains or dendritic patterns marking the system's outermost reach. Manganese is mobile, carried farther from the heat source before precipitating. These halos are invaluable guides expanding the search area from a narrow pipe to a broad alteration system. Finding manganese means you're in the right neighborhood, clay signals you're getting closer. Mapping these halos helps vector in on the gold core. Instead of searching for a needle, you're searching for a haystack. The halos make the target bigger and easier to find. They are nature's breadcrumbs, leading explorers to the heart of the system. With the system's layers understood, exploration becomes a methodical puzzle. It starts with aerial and satellite imagery, silica caps and iron stains stand out as hills and color anomalies. LiDAR technology maps subtle topography, revealing clay halos as depressions and silica caps as peaks. On the ground, geologists map rock types and alteration zones, sampling gossans and noting transitions from manganese to clay. Samples go to labs for geochemical analysis, measuring gold, silver, and pathfinder elements. Combining imagery, topography, mapping, and chemistry builds a complete picture. The manganese halo, clay halo, and silica cap are plotted, showing trends toward the core. Geochemical results highlight the most promising zones. All evidence converges to define the best drill target. It's a systematic approach, science and detective work combined. The goal to zero in on the hidden gold-enriched core. Every clue brings the explorer closer to discovery. The principles of finding gold in breccia pipes are old, but the tools are new. Today, exploration starts with computers and satellites. AI scans imagery for mineral signatures flagging overlooked areas. High-resolution sensors and geophysical surveys map the pipe structure in three dimensions before drilling begins. On the ground, geologists use portable X-ray analyzers for instant chemical readings, accelerating decisions. This rapid feedback loop speeds up the hunt for gold. Technology and tradition blend. Every hill, stain, and soil change could be a clue. Mapping the vertical system from silica cap to gold core remains the blueprint. The tools are advanced, but the thrill of discovery is timeless. The Earth still holds secrets for those who learn its language. For explorers, the adventure has only just begun.